Welcome back to Conspiracy Theories and Chill. On this episode, we're going to talk about the Mandela Effect. The Mandela Effect is the phenomenon where someone has a clear memory of something that never actually happened in this reality. Many people, mostly total strangers, remember the exact same events with the exact same details. However, these memories are different from what's recorded in history books, newspaper archives, and so on. Now, we're not talking about false memories. Many people speculate that parallel realities exist, and until now, we've been sliding between them without even realizing it. Some even believe that the Mayans were right and the world actually did end in 2012 and we slid into a different reality. The Mandela Effect itself gets its name from the fact that many people remember Nelson Mandela dying in prison in the 80s, whereas in our reality he was released from prison and of course went on to become the president of South Africa and lived until December of 2013. But there are hundreds more examples of Mandela Effects and in this video we're going to go into some of the bigger and more shocking ones. Let's start off with one of my favorites, the Berenstein Bears. Do you remember the Berenstein Bears? I do. I owned the whole book set and they were my favorite books as a child. So you can imagine my shock when I found out that they never were the Berenstein Bears. They were the Berenstain Bears. Another one from my childhood is about Curious George. When you think back in your memories of Curious George, does he have a tail? I remember him having one. I remember him using it and even hanging by it. But I can't remember that because Curious George never had a tail. Jiffy Peanut Butter is another good one. I remember a brand name of peanut butter called Jiffy, but there never was one. It's always been Jif, no fee, just J-I-F. Then how about the famous Lindbergh baby that was kidnapped and never found? Family Guy even made fun of this one. Well, in this timeline the Lindbergh baby was found, May 12th of 1932. And how about this one? Do you remember the movie where Sinbad plays a genie? I do, but we shouldn't because Sinbad never made a movie where he was a genie in this reality. Here's another good one from the movies. Remember the famous line from Forrest Gump? Mama always said life is like a box of chocolates. Well, what if I told you that that wasn't the actual line? The actual line is life was like a box of chocolates. Even though that doesn't even sound right to me at all, I remember it as life is like a box of chocolates. But, I also thought I remembered Star Wars. In the big reveal, I remember Darth Vader saying, Luke, I am your father. If you remember it that way too, you're wrong just like me, because the line is actually, no, I am your father, and apparently it always has been. Remember the Disney classic Snow White? Of course you do. Remember the evil witch in her mirror? Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? Well, it turns out she never said mirror, mirror at all. She says magic mirror. Now does that even sound right to you? Magic mirror on the wall? How about this one? Think about the Monopoly guy. Are you picturing him? Does he have a monocle? In my memory he does, but I'm wrong again because he does not and never has had a monocle. Now do you remember the publisher's clearinghouse and the old commercials of them showing up with the big check and the balloons? Who do you remember as their spokesman? I remember it very clearly being Ed McMahon. Many people remember vividly Ed McMahon being the spokesperson for Publishers Clearinghouse and were all wrong because he never was. And how about the old TV show Lassie? Do you remember the episode where Timmy fell down the well? I do and so do many people. Many TV shows have even parodied the premise but were all apparently remembering it wrong because Timmy never fell in the well at all. Lassie did. Crazy right? Well guess what else? We all forgot about Dre. A few years ago, Dr. Dre put out a line of high-end headphones. Do you remember what they were called? These were and still are very popular headphones, and the advertising for them was everywhere, and I remember clearly it being called Beats by Dre, but it turns out that it's always been Beats by Dr. Dre, which doesn't even look right to me at all. Here's one that still aggravates me. Remember the Queen hit We Are the Champions? I remember Of the World being part of the big climax of the song. But it turns out that Of The World isn't even in We Are The Champions, no matter how clearly I can hear Freddie Mercury belting it out in my head. Now this last example surprised me quite a bit. This Mandela effect has to do with the attack on the Statue of Liberty. That's right, the Statue of Liberty was attacked during World War II by German spies, doing permanent damage to the torch, which as a result has been closed for 100 years. I for one of many had no memory of this event, but you can look it up for yourself. It's known as the Black Tom Explosion. 
German spies blew up an ammunition barge causing a huge explosion measuring up 5.5 on the Richter scale. It was the first terrorist attack on American soil and many people have absolutely no memory of it. Well I hope you enjoyed this episode of Conspiracy Theories and Chill. Let me know in the comments what you thought about these examples of Mandela effects and how you remember them or share others I may not have even went into. And remember to like and share and subscribe and thanks for watching. We'll see you next time right here from Me on Things and Stuff.